CYS Youth Sports and the Baltimore Orioles teamed up for the fourth year in a row for a youth baseball clinic. Orioles Brad Brock and Darren O'Day, plus former Orioles Larry Bigby and Ken Dixon were on hand. The Orioles ran the kids through some basic drills. Approximately 125 kids registered in the CYS Youth Baseball and Softball programs participated. Also this week, the MWR Farmers Market makes its return. A safety expo is coming up and the commissary is hiring baggers. These stories and more, but first, if you go to your smartphone app store and search for Fort Meade, you'll discover there's an app for that. The app, still in its infancy, was originally intended to be a mass notification tool for emergency services. We tried to come up with a way uh, to get messages out and, and obtain information uh, from people that isn't going to be obtrusive, isn't going to be labor intensive, um, and we found that the app was, was really the best way to do it. You'll notice on the app that there are a lot of options for two-way communication, but it isn't meant to replace 911. If you observe a, a situation that's suspicious to you, you can report it. Uh, even crimes as they occur, if there's something going on. Now, we don't want to bypass 911. Uh, we're talking about the non-emergency type crimes, your, your pettit larcenies or your destruction of property kind of things that, that do need police attention, but it's, it's not a, an absolute critical response. As development of the app progressed, additional features were added, including links to installation services and social media platforms. Going forward, Captain Russell would like to see as many Fort Meade community members download the app as possible. You know, this isn't Big Brother looking at you or watching over you or not tracking you or anything like that. We just, we want to be able to get out the information to help you if, if something's going on. The Fort Meade app is available now in both the iTunes and Android app stores. In a related story, the Veterans Administration has a new app to schedule your VA appointments. Here's a brief intro from the VA. Available on your phone or computer, VAR is an easy tool to help you take control of your health. Get started today. Visit the Veteran Appointment Request app page in the VA app store to learn more. In other news, the Installation Safety Office is preparing for its annual Safety, Occupational Health and Resiliency Expo. Dozens of agencies and vendors will be on hand promoting safety and healthy living. Aaron Roll from the Installation Safety Office says the Expo is for everyone. It's a family oriented, when I say that I mean we bring everyone together. We bring here at Fort Meade, we bring the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, as well as Coast Guard and Marines, as well as civilians to be a part of this program and it allows everyone here to hit on their safety campaign and get things driving in a, a, a positive way. Rowell adds that the Safety Expo is Fort Meade's official kickoff to the 101 days of summer safety campaign. A big part of that is motorcycle safety. The office offers a full slate of motorcycle safety training. And we run this program generally nine to ten months out of the year and it's very important as well as regulatory that our military personnel get this training. The Fort Meade Commissary is holding a hiring event for baggers on June 12th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Club Meade. The event is for dependents of active duty service members 15 to 19 years old. You must have a valid dependent ID card and social security number. Additionally, applicants must show up in person. Contact the commissary if you have any questions. Meanwhile, the MWR Farmers Market is making its return next Wednesday, May 17th. The market is every Wednesday through September. MWR's Angie San Girardi says this year special events are being planned along with the market. Next week on the 17th, it's a magic show. The Wonder Bunny is going to be here uh, the first week. Uh, the following week we'll have a fitness expo. Um, coming up later in the year you'll see the Maryland Zoo, Enlisted Spouses Club. You'll see um, Bring Your Doggy to um, the Farmer's Market Day. It's going to be a whole bunch of different exciting events. So it's not just come out and get your fresh fruits and veggies and come get your lunch, but also spend a little time out here and hang out with us. We are um, excited to have different people come out in addition to our normal um, Greek on the street and uh, diner on the go and all of our normal vendors that we also have. We'll also have a new pizza um, person coming out. We'll have um, different things for people to try so it's not the same old thing. We have tables set up so people can have a little lunch and, and stay here and hang out a little while. Finally, a quick reminder from the USO. The USO, in collaboration with the Gary Sinise Foundation, is bringing Lieutenant Dan Band to Fort Meade. The concert is next Thursday, May 18th. It starts at 7 p.m. on McLaughlin Parade Field. The USO says there will be food trucks and bring your blankets, pillows, and low chairs. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.